Hello everyone, I'm Yilun, and today I'm going to present our method Equiformer plus SCN for the Open Catalyst Challenge at New Risk 2022. This is the joint work with my advisor, Professor Ted Smith, and we are from MIT. Here's the outline of my presentation. First, I will briefly introduce the Open Catalyst Challenge. Second, I will dis discuss our method, which consists of the three parts, Aquaformer, Spherical Channel Network, SCN, and a combination of Aquaformer and SCN. Finally, I will present some experimental results. The discovery of efficient catalysts are needed to address the energy challenges posted by climate change. One common approach in discovery in discovering new catalysts is running relaxation with molecular simulations. Uh, for example, in this figure, we first place a small molecule called adsorbate on top of a large material surface called catalyst to form an initial state. And then we estimate their interactions, such as forces, to update their atomic positions. And then we obtain the relaxed state and relaxed energy. After the relaxation, we can use the relaxed energy to determine important properties, uh, such as reaction rates. However, running a relaxation can take many hours, and there are billions of adsorbate catalyst combinations, which make the previous mentioned approach computationally infeasible. The reason lies in that molecular simulations are performed with Compute Intensive Density Function Theory, or DFT. Therefore, the goal of this challenge is that we want to approximate the Compute Intensive DFT with AI models or graph neural networks so that we can reduce the time of running a relaxation from hours to seconds. As illustrated in the figure, we take 3D atomic positions and atomic number as input and construct a nearest neighbor graph for a graph neural network to predict the energy and force of this structure or directly predict its corresponding relaxed energy. And there are three tests associated with the data set which are S to EF, structure to energy and force, IS to RS, initial state to relaxed state, IS to RE, initial state to relaxed energy. Our method for this challenge consists of the three parts, aquaformer, spherical channel network, SCN, and, com and combining aquaformer and SCN. Uh, for, uh, for aquaformer, it is a graph neural network leveraging the strengths of transformer architectures and equivariant features. Based on typical transformers in natural language processing and computer vision, we introduce three modifications. They are equivariant erase features, equivariant operations, and equivariant graph attention. I will briefly discuss them in the following slides and please refer to our work, Equiformer, Equivariant Graph Attention Transformers for 3D atomistic graphs for further details. Since we are modeling the behaviors of atoms in 3D spaces, it is important to consider 3D related inductive biases, such as rotational equivariance. For example, as shown in this figure, when we rotate the molecule, we want some properties uh, such as forces acting on each atom to be rotated accordingly. To incorporate such inductive biases, we use vector spaces of irreducible representations, or ERAPs, as internal feature representations. Uh, more concretely, the ERAPs features contain vectors of different types, and two common examples of such vectors are scalars, or type 0 vectors, and Euclidean vectors, or type 1 vectors. Since the internal representations are now equivariant erase features instead of typical scalar features, we need equivariant operations to transform those features. The operations consist of two parts. Uh, first, we replace original operations in transformers with their equivariant version. They include uh, linear layer, layer normalization, and activation function. Second, we introduce additional tensor product operations to transformers in order to mix the information contained in vector 
contained in vectors of different types. For example, we can use tensor products to mix the information of scalars and Euclidean vectors. Finally, we improve the expressivity of typical dot product attention with equivariant graph attention. This is based on the observation that in attention, the uh, in attention, the feature MTS, same from source node to target node, can be formulated as the product of attention weights and value vectors. Therefore, for better expressivity, we can use nonlinear functions consisting of tensor products to generate both attention weights and value vectors. With the three modifications, we can convert typical transformers in natural language processing and computer vision into Equiformer, a powerful transformer for 3D atomistic graphs. The overall architecture of Equiformer is shown here. Uh, after processing the input 3D graph with many Equiformer blocks, we perform global sum aggregation to predict energy or relaxed energy and use erase features at each node to predict forces acting on each atom. In addition to Equiformer, we also consider spherical channel networks, SCN, proposed by Meta AI. Instead of using equivariant operations, SCN uses non-strictly equivariant operations, and it has demonstrated impressive results on the Open Catalyst 2020 dataset. Roughly speaking, SCN uses standard operations to trade equivariance for better expressivity and efficiency during both message passing and message aggregation. I will briefly discuss them in the following slides, and please refer to the work Spherical, Channel Network, Spherical Channels for Modeling Atomic Interactions by Meta AI for further details. For the message sent from source node to target node, SCN first rotate, uh, first rotate node features with a rotation matrix for which the relative position will be aligned with global Z axis. And then it extracts a subset of n components in these erase features and treats them as pure scalars. Instead of using equivariant operations, SCN applies standard layers. Although this breaks equivariance, they find relaxing the constraint of equivariance can improve the performance on OC20 datasets. As for message aggregation, SCN converts erase features into point samples on a grid, operates on 2D simple grids with standard layers and converts back to erase features. The conversion to samples on a grid uses discrete sampling and is therefore approximately equivariant. We consider the combination of Equiformer and SCN as our final method. The motivation is that recent computer vision models combine convolution with inductive biases and transformer blocks with less or no inductive biases in order to achieve better performance. So um, this, this inspires us to combine equivariant attention of transformer blocks with non-strictly equivariant attention built from SCN operations and present our method Equiformer plus SCN. Here's the overall architecture of Equiformer plus SCN. We can, we can use the message passing and message aggregation proposed by SCN to build the corresponding transformer blocks as shown here. We process input 3D graphs with Equiformer blocks on the left branch and then with, and then with SCN blocks on the right branch. We sum the equivariant output and non-strictly equivariant output as the final output of our network. The training details are shown here. For our network, we use uh, six equiformer blocks with degree up to one. We have 12 SCN blocks with four taps, two bands, and degree up to six. We use a smaller version of SCN with smaller hidden sizes and less hidden layers. We construct nearest neighbor graph with a cutoff radius of five angstrom. 
We train networks with cosine learning rate with linear warm up. We consider two approaches, relaxation and direct to predict relaxed energy. For relaxation, we train on S2, EF, T, and subset. For direct, we train on IS2RE dataset with IS2RS auxiliary task and noisy nodes data augmentation. The training time is 1,632 GPU hours for S2, EF and 632 GPU hours for IS2RE when A100 GPUs are used. We compare the results on the validation set between models with the direct approach. As shown in this table, Aquaforma plus SCN achieves the lowest mean absolute errors when only IS2RE and IS2RS data are used. We also report the results of Aquaforma plus SCN on the test challenge split. The relaxation approach, the relaxation approach achieves lower error compared to the direct approach, while training on S2EF requires about 2.6 times more computation. And this is the end of my presentation. Thank you very much for your attention. Please feel free to reach out to me if you have any questions.